Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight's teams will doubtless forgive us for noticing that they present a fractionally more mature appearance than some of the unnervingly fresh-faced teams we've seen in the past. Whether their relative maturity will pay dividends in the depth and speed of their recall, however, remains to be seen. SOAS, or the School of Oriental and African Studies, is a constituent college of the University of London. Located in Bloomsbury, it was founded in 1916 and is regarded as the UK's leading specialist institution, teaching the languages, cultures and societies of Asia, Africa and the Near and Middle East, while also enjoying a wholly unverified reputation as a school for spies. Its alumni include the explorer and travel writer Freya Stark and the singer and activist Paul Robeson. The politicians Enoch Powell, Aung San Suu Kyi and David Lammy were students there, as were the broadcaster Zainab Badawi, the writer Yung Chang and the comedian Dom Jolly. With an average age of 34 and representing around 6,000 students, let's meet the SOAS team. Hi, my name is Mark Thomas, originally from Newcastle on Tyne, and I'm studying global cinema. Hi, my name's Chad Beeman, I'm from London, and I'm reading Japanese. And their captain? Hi, my name's Harriet Gemmel, I'm originally from London, and I'm studying for a Master's in Sinology. Hi, I'm Tom Pollitt from Bristol, and I'm reading for an LLM in International Law. Now, making its debut in this competition, Darwin College was founded in 1964 as the first college in Cambridge exclusively for graduates. It was the result of an initiative backed by Trinity, St John's and Gonville and Keys. It takes its name from the family of Charles Darwin and is situated on the River Cam, on land previously owned by them. Alumni include the primatologist Diane Fossey and Sir Ian Wilmot, the leader of the research group that led to the cloning of Dolly the Sheep representing around 670 graduates and with an average age of a sprightly 37. Let's meet the Darwin team. Hi, I'm Stuart McPherson. I'm from Bordeaux in South Lanarkshire and I'm studying for a PhD in physics. Hi, I'm Christopher Davis. I'm from London via California and I'm pursuing a PhD in plant sciences. And their captain? Hi, my name is Jason Golfinos. I'm from New York City and I am pursuing an MPhil in Asian and Middle Eastern studies. Hello, I'm Guy Mully, originally from Loughton in Essex, studying for a postgraduate diploma in law. Right, you all know the rules, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What gemstone has two main forms, a sodium aluminium silicate that is usually white or green and a darker coloured calcium magnesium iron silicate, also called nephrite? In China, it was traditionally ah, associated... Darwin Golfinos. Jade. Jade is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the world in 1997, Darwin. Which US television series first aired in August 1997? It's often been described as carnivalesque in academic studies, which invoked the cultural theories of Freud and Bakhtin, whilst Channel 4 said it was for people coming back from the pub with a curry. Friends? Maybe. Friends? No, it's South Park. Love, what is it? Most natural painkiller. These words appear in the final journal entry of which US novelist who died in August 1997? His works include Junkie and Naked Lunch. Um, um, William S. Burroughs. William S. Burroughs? Correct. Give the single word that completes this remark by Mel C. of the Spice Girls of, in August 1997. If Oasis are bigger than God, what does that make us? Bigger than... Yeah, that's the universe? No, Buddha. <laughs> a stupid thing to say. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In 2017, which US filmmaker became only the second woman to win the Best Director Prize at the Cannes Film Festival when she received the award for her film The Beguiled? Uh, Darwin Golfinos. Catherine Bigelow. Know anyone like to buzz from SOAS? No? It's Sophia Coppola. Ten points for this. Crosby in November 1981 and Glasgow Hillhead in March 1982 were the first seats won by which... So asked Thomas. Uh, SDP. Indeed, the Social Democratic Party, yes. 
Right, so you get a set of bonuses on miraculous births in mythology, Soas. Which Greco-Roman goddess of love and fertility is said to have been born from sea foam after the castrated genitals of Uranus were thrown into the water? Venus, isn't it? Is it? Venus is wrong. Yeah, Aphrodite is great. Aphrodite? Correct. The god of light in ancient Persia, which mythological figure is said to have been born from a rock carrying both a dagger and a torch? Zoroaster? No, it's Mithra. Which Aztec god has a name meaning feathered serpent and was, according to some versions of the myth, born to the virgin goddess Chimalmatl? Quetzalcoatl. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What four-letter word can mean a person or thing that sets another off to advantage and has its origin in a thin leaf of metal that a jeweller would place under a precious stone to increase its brilliancy? It's also a name for a light sword used in fencing. So has Thomas. Epe? No, one of you buzzed from Darwin. Darwin Golfinots. Foil. Foil is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the US astronomer Vera Rubin. In the 1970s, Rubin found that stars on the fringes of spiral galaxies orbited at a similar velocity to those much closer in. This provided crucial evidence for what component of the universe? Dark matter. Correct. Rubin's evidence for the existence of dark matter built on the theories expounded in the 1930s by which Swiss astronomer the first used the virial theorem to suggest its existence? We don't have anything. That was Fritz Zwicky. And finally, Rubin's discovery was based on spectral data that revealed stellar motion through what optical phenomenon named after a 19th century Austrian physicist? Yeah. Doppler effect? Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. If you're a picture starter, you'll see a Latin phrase. For 10 points, give me the sense of the phrase in English. Darwin Golfinos. The good of the people is the supreme... Let the good of the people be the supreme law. That's correct, yes. The welfare of the people is the supreme law. <laughs> Following that uh, observation from Cicero, seen on mottos and coats of arms, your picture bonuses are three more Latin legal maxims from the Oxford Dictionary of Law. In each case, give the general sense in English. Firstly... Um, I heard the other part. I heard the other part. Yes, that's a translation. The maxim is here, the other side. Secondly... Of, of whose alone it is, it is also to heaven. You're just thinking aloud. Yes. <laughs> but not very cogently. No. Whoever owns land, it is theirs up to the heavens. Oh. And finally... <laughs> Ignorance of the law <laughs> is not an excuse. excuse. No Correct. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Precise observations of what astronomical event helped undermine belief in the Aristotelian conception of immutable celestial spheres? So has Beeman. Orbit of Mars. Nope. Uh, I'm afraid Darwin you lose five points. Um, I, I was actually going to uh, give you some more. Oh, OK, they, they, sorry. I'm going to find them five points as well. <laughs> but you buzzed in, so you should answer, okay. really. OK, um, a supernova? Correct, yes, that is right. Yes, you didn't need the rest <laughs> of the <laughs> Your bonuses are on The Economist, Robert Solo. Solo is particularly known for his growth model, which attributes long-term economic growth to labour, capital and what other component? Level of technology? Correct, yes, technological innovation, technological change. Solo's first exposure to empirical economic research came while working as a research assistant to which Russian-born US Nobel laureate? He's credited with developing the input-output method. I don't know. Um, Hyman Minsky? No, it was Leontiev. And oh. finally, a PhD student under Solo, who won the 2001 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences for laying the foundation for the theory of markets with asymmetric information. 
Stieglitz? Stieglitz is correct. Ten points for this. The Aphrodite of Nidus, which Pliny the Elder considered to be the finest statue in the world, and Hermes carrying the infant Dionysius, the only known surviving uh, Darwin from... Golfinos. Praxiteles? Praxiteles is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on video games that have won the British Academy Games Award for Best Game. In each case, give the title of the game from the description. Firstly, a 2007 first-person shooter set in the underwater city of Rapture, a failed utopia based on objectivist philosophy. Bioshock. Bioshock is correct. Secondly, a 2011 first-person puzzle game set in the dilapidated Aperture Science Research Facility from which the protagonist, Chell, can escape only by navigating its disused test chambers. It's a sequel to the game of 2007. Portal 2. Portal 2 is correct. Finally, a 2013 third-person adventure game set in a post-apocalyptic USA through which the protagonist, Joel, must escort the teenager, Ellie. The Last of Us. What do you spend your time doing? Yes, well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What five-letter name links the third title figure in David Hockney's portrait of Mr and Mrs Clark, Hotspur in Shakespeare's Henry IV, Part I? So as Beeman. Harry. No, and I'm afraid you lose five points for an incorrect interruption. And a fictional teenager in novels by Rick Reardon. Uh, Darwin Golfinos. Percy. Percy is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on an Asian empire. The Ghaznavid dynasty ruled large parts of Central Asia from the late 10th to the 12th century. It takes its name from a city about 350 kilometres northeast of Kandahar in which present-day country? Afghanistan. Correct. Written for Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni around the late 10th and early 11th century, the Book of Kings by Ferdowsi is an epic poem in which language? Persian. Correct, Farsi, yes. The Ghaznavids lost much of their western lands to which Turkic dynasty after a major defeat in 1040? Uh, the Seljuks. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> You've done enough. Have you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have Darwin you no... Golfinos. Joseph McCarthy. Indeed, correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on botany. In each case, give the term from the description. All three begin with the same Greek prefix. Firstly, the structure that protects the developing reproductive parts of a flower. It consists of the calyx and the corolla. The periant? Correct. Consisting of phelogem, phelum and phelloderm, the protective tissue that replaces the epidermis in plants with secondary growth. Uh, nominate Davis. Bark. No, it's the periderm. Oh. Finally, the wall okay. of a fruit that develops from the maturing ovary wall. Pericarp. Nominate Davis again. Pericarp. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take the music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of music recorded by a noted big band leader. For ten points, give me the band leader's name. Uh, Darwin Golfinos. Goodman. Benny Goodman is correct, yes. In 1937, Time magazine labelled Benny Goodman the King of Swing. Your music bonuses are three more recordings by big band leaders from the swing era, and again, it's the band leader's name I need for the points. Firstly... Duke Ellington. It is Duke Ellington. Take the A train. Secondly... No, that's Count Basie. And finally... Glenn Miller? Yes, it is in the mood. Thank you. Thank so, there's still plenty of time for you to get going. Ten points for this. First recorded in 1995, what ten-letter portmanteau word denotes a person who, specifically in order to further social or political ends, tries to gain unauthorised access to computer files or networks. So as Pollitt. Hacker. Nope. One of you buzz, Darwin. You may not confer, one of you can buzz. It's a hacktivist. Ten points for this. Which composer at the court of Louis XIV died after stabbing ah. himself in the... Darwin Golfinos. Luli. Luli is correct, yes. <laughs> 
So you get bonuses on the US film director Julie Taymor. Julie Taymor's films include Fool's Fire, an adaptation of Hop Frog, a short story by which US literary figure who died in 1847? Um, it could be Hawthorne, could, it could be a lot of people. Um, I don't know, it wouldn't be Hawthorne, actually. No, it's just... <laughs> oh, Henry? No, it's Edgar Allan Poe. Secondly, Taymor directed a 1999 adaptation of which revenge tragedy by Shakespeare? It stars Anthony Hopkins and Jessica Lange. Hamlet? No, it's Titus Andronicus. Awesome. And finally, Selma Hayek played which Latin American artist in the title role of the 2002 yeah. biographical <laughs> film directed by Taymor? Frida Kahlo. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Sea of Tranquility and the Ocean of Storms. Uh, Darwin Golfinos. The Moon. No, you lose okay. five points. And the Ocean of Storms were the landing places of which two consecutive manned space missions? So Beeman. Apollo 11 and Apollo 12. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on achievements in mathematics. In 2014, Marianne Mirzakhani became the first woman to be awarded which leading mathematical medal? The Fields Medal. Correct. Which African-American mathematician calculated the return trajectory for John Glenn's space capsule in 1962? Smith. No, it's Catherine Johnson. And finally, born in Tuscany in 1820, who was the first woman to be elected to the Royal Statistical Society? She's credited with developing the polar area diagram. Florence Nightingale. Correct. Ten points for this. Relating to a palace presented by the Emperor Constantine to the Bishop of Rome, what adjective is applied to five ecumenical councils of the Roman Catholic Church held there from 1123 to 1517. So has Thomas. A uh, diet of worms? Nope. One of you buzz. Darwin Golfinos. Lateran? Lateran is correct. <laughs> you get some bonuses on the comedy writer Chris Morris, Darwin. In 2005, Morris collaborated with Charlie Brooker on which television series? Its title character describes himself as a self-facilitating media node. Alan Partridge? <laughs> that was Nathan <laughs> Barley. Oh. Secondly, what is the title of Morris's 2010 film debut as a director? It's a black comedy starring Riz Ahmed, Kayvan Novak and Adil Akhtar as a group of inept British jihadis. Uh, four Lions? Correct. Heavy electricity and the made-up drug cake are among topics covered in which spoof current affairs series created and presented by Morris? The Brass Eye. Brass Eye is correct. Right, ten points for this starter question. Named after an 18th century French navigator, the La Perouse Strait. So has Beeman. Sakhalin and Hokkaido. No, it's an incorrect interruption, so you lose five points, I'm afraid. Separates Russia from which country? The country in question controlled both sides of the strait from 1905 until 1945. Darwin McPherson. Japan. Correct. <laughs> Right, these bonuses are on lesser-known languages of Europe. In each case, name the branch of the Indo-European family, for example, Celtic, to which the following belong. Firstly, Cimbrian, Swabian and Ripuarian. Um, Germanic. Correct. Secondly, Kashubian, Silesian and Lower Sorbian. Slavic. Correct. And finally, Friulian, Arpitan and Walloon. Those are all romance. Romance, yeah. romance. romance is correct. Right, we're going to take another picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a still from a film. Ten points if you can give me the film's title. So ask Gamel. The Princess and the Frog. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> points are points wherever they come from. <laughs> right, so you get the picture bonuses you'll be pleased to hear. Princess and the Frog was released in 2009. It marked a brief return by Disney to traditional hand-drawn animation. Your picture bonuses are three recent hand-drawn films from other studios. Five points for each film you can name. Firstly, for five, 
I'd like the English title of this 2015 film. The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Correct. Secondly, I need a four-word title here. Anyone? Nope. That's the Irish film Song of the Sea. And finally, the exact title of this film of 2017. I think it's Finding Vincent. No, 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 no. I think it's it's Loving Vincent. Vincent. Is it Loving Vincent? I think so. Yeah. Loving Vincent. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Which biblical figure is the subject of the tragic drama by John Milton that includes the lines, God, when he gave me strength to show with all how slight the gift... So ask Emil. Samson? Samson is correct, yes. In Samson Agonisti. So you get a set of bonuses on ancient seaports, you'd be pleased to hear, Soas. The Phoenician alphabet was developed at the ancient seaport of Byblos, now a major archaeological site in which eastern Mediterranean country? Lebanon. Lebanon. Correct. Which seaport at the mouth of the river Tiber was a base for the Roman navy during the Punic Wars and developed into a major commercial centre for the Roman Empire? Ostia. 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 Correct. St John is said to be buried at which seaport on the west coast of modern Turkey, also the site of a notable temple of Artemis? Ephesus. Ephesus. Correct. Five and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. Which glandular organ of the human body produces substances that regulate the level of glucose in the bloodstream? These include... So as pollet. Gallbladder. No, you can lose five points, I'm afraid. Regulate the level of glucose in the bloodstream. These include somatostatin, glucagon and insulin. Darwin Golfinos. The pancreas. The pancreas is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on British birds. In each case, give the common name from the description. All three answers are a single word of three or four letters. Firstly, Garrulus glandarius, a colourful member of the crow family, usually found in a woodland habitat. I think we better have an answer. Minor. Uh, that's a J. Fulica atra, a species of rail slightly smaller than a moorhen. They're black with a distinctive white frontal shield and beak. Coot. Nominate Davis. Coot. Coot is correct. And finally, Corvus frugiligus, often seen in flocks in open fields. A thinner beak and peaked head distinguishes it from the carrion crow. It's a, uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah. A rook. Rook is correct, yes. Ten points for this. In electronics and more colloquially, in discussions of the amount of useful information available on a website, what ratio is often abbreviated to S to N? Darwin Golfinos. Signal to noise. Signal to noise is right. Your bonuses now are on Charles Dickens. In each case, name the novel in which the following sisters are found. Firstly, Lady Dedlock and Miss Barbary. Little Dorrit. No, there's a Mrs. Barbary in Little Dorrit, but no, it's Bleak House. Isabella and Emily Wardle, secondly. Little Dorrit again? No, that's in the Pickwick Papers. And finally, Charity and Mercy Pecksniff. Oliver Twist. No, it's Martin Chuzzlewit. There's about three and a bit minutes to go, and another starter question. Shelite and Wolframite are major ores of which metallic... So has Beeman. Tungsten. Tungsten is correct. Your bonuses now are on astronomy, so as. Alioth, Sargas, Mirak and Alnitak are among the 227 names appearing in a catalogue published by the International Astronomical Union in 2016. It defines approved names for what objects? Come on. Asteroids? No, it's stars. In this catalogue, what is the IAU approved name for the star otherwise designated as Alpha Centauri A. Proxima Centauri. 
No, it's a Rigel Kentaurus. And what name was approved for Rigel Kentaurus's companion, currently the closest star to the sun? This one's Proxima Centauri. It is, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which Baltic port lies close to the mouth of the River Oder? Its German name was memorably used by Churchill in his Iron Curtain speech... So I speak, man. Gdansk. No. In his Iron Curtain speech of 1946... I'm afraid it was a technical interruption, so you're going to lose five points. Darwin Golfinos. Stettin. Stettin is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are, are on perpetual trophies in Test cricket. In each case, identify the team that plays England to win the trophy in question. Firstly, the Wisdom Trophy, first awarded in 1963. West Indies. Correct. Secondly, the Petordi Trophy and the Anthony de Mello Trophy. South Africa, maybe? South Africa. No, it's India. Finally, the Basil D'Oliveira Trophy. <laughs> Come on. No, nothing. No, that is the South Africa contest. Right, ten points for this. Deoxidizing rays and chemical rays were early names for which region of the electromagnetic ah, spectrum? Darwin McPherson. X-ray. Nope. You lose five points. Situated between visible light and X-rays. So has Beeman. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is correct. You get a set of bonuses now <laughs> on an island. The Pomare dynasty held power in which South Pacific island kingdom for the majority of the 19th century? It became a French colony in 1880. Caledonia. Come on. Tahiti. Let's go with Tahiti. Tahiti. Correct. Which Russian composer adapted Vincent Eumann's song T for Two as an orchestral version called the Tahiti Trot in 1928? You were doubtless about to say Shostakovich, but you were a little too late. Thank you very much for joining us. You're a nice team. Thank you very much. Uh, Darwin, congratulations to you. We shall look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the contest. I hope you can join us for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from the School of Oriental and African Studies. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and it's goodbye from Darwin College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.